Money can't buy friendship, but in China, it can certainly buy the appearance of friendship. And to some, appearance is everything, which is why the business of friendship is booming in China. That's right, business. We are talking about the market of paid companionship, where people can hire someone to be their friend. Well, what does one do with a hired friend? Objectively speaking, it's completely subjective. To rent a friend means no compromise on place, time or interest. Anything goes, as long as the relationship remains strictly platonic. You simply pay for someone's presence and they can accompany you on a picnic, go skydiving with you or listen to your rants over a cup of coffee. How does one find such quote unquote friends? There are designated websites and apps, but Chinese social media plays a big role here. It has become a popular platform to hire friends. It's kind of like looking for a flatmate on social media. You post an advertisement, list all relevant details, mention the price details, and voila. A fellow netizen will stumble upon the post. If they're interested, they contact you, maybe negotiate the price, and both parties finalize a deal. That's how it works. But speaking of prices, what is the going rate to rent a friend? Based on anecdotal evidence, it's anywhere between $15 to $25. And for the Chinese youth, it's good enough to become a side gig. Few people rent their friendship for fun. For most, it's a business opportunity. So China's youth are renting spare time for extra cash. And paid companionship has become a part of China's gig economy. And like any successful business, it's thanks to a blossoming friendship between supply and demand. The supply here is Chinese youth with a lot of time on their hands and a need to, to earn extra money. And why is that? Well, look at China's slow economic recovery, its soaring layoffs and high youth unemployment, which now stands at 14.5%. The result is this. Chinese youth are crumbling under pressure. Some 54 million people in China suffer from depression. 41 million suffer from anxiety, plus more than 92 million Young people live alone in China, so loneliness is spreading across the nation. The youth of China needs new ways to decompress. They need friendship, which can be hard to find. Hence the growing demand for hired friends. But this doesn't apply just to China. Renting relationships is a growing trend the world over. Japan has a similar service to rent a friend. Also, if you don't want to attend an event alone, you can pay an actor to impersonate your relative or spouse or co-worker. In the US and the UK too, you can rent a friend plus pay extra to hug them. To those who support this trend, paid companionship is a boon. It sits between seeking professional therapy and getting no help at all. But to others, it is bizarre. In the digital age, people use the internet for everything from buying groceries to finding love. Now they're using it to find friendship as well. But here's the thing, finding a friend is easy. Cultivating a friendship, on the other hand, requires time and effort, not to mention emotional investment. It may be difficult, but research shows it, it is worth it. Enduring friendships help us cope better. They are the bulwark against poor mental health. Hired friends, on the other hand, do none of this. They may show us a good time, but they won't provide a shoulder to cry on or give advice, maybe not even a word of truth. And they will certainly not be there if they aren't being paid to be there. So hiring a friend is like popping a pill. It may treat some symptoms, but it won't take care of the illness. And when it comes to building real connections, the greater the effort, the sweeter the reward.